It is time for the coffee group, and parents always try their best to treat their kids equally. But one of them inevitably pipes up with that wee nugget, that's not fair, or, oh, he got more than me. We've heard it before, haven't we? Jenny Hale and Sarah Chatwin are back with some advice and some handy tips to calm our households. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's taking me right back to the bachelor <laughs> days then, saying good morning, ladies. Your voice was just so like it was yesterday that you were saying those things to your poor parents. Well, it's great to have you on the show again. And Jenny, I'll start with you. Sometimes it sounds as though none of the kids are satisfied. Mm -hmm. Does that sound familiar? Very familiar. Um, children are very good at looking at what they've got and wanting more. But there are some things that money can't buy, and although it looks like children are wanting you to buy one, each one of them the same thing, at the end of the day, there's more that they want than that. Okay, Sarah, you know, I guess when it comes to, you know, the kids' point of view, they sometimes have some valid reasons. Are they, are they kicking up a stink about nothing, or is it a valid reason? I think that we always have to listen to our kids because if a child is coming to you and saying, hey, I don't feel good about something or something's going wrong, they don't always use the voice that you used. <laughs> uh, I think as a parent, it's your responsibility to take some notice. Um, and I'd hate to think that we missed some things with our kids and it led to, to other more horrible things. I mean, we have a huge teen suicide rate in this country, so you'd hate to think that as a parent you missed something. So I think it's really important to listen to your children and to just find out why they're feeling the way that they're feeling. Why are they feeling undervalued? I think it's important. And Jenny, parents, I guess, can expect this to happen, can't they? You know, in your family, did you have brothers and sisters? And how did that dynamic work? Yeah, three brothers, two sisters. Um, yeah, there was always um, a level of competition for resources. But what Sarah said is so true that children are actually looking for you to hear them out. Now, in the midst of a fight is usually not the right time to sort <laughs> things out. So we say strike when the iron's cold. Mm -hmm. Often you have to go later and say, you seemed upset about that, what's going on? And when a child really feels that you've got them, that you've taken the time to get to know what is really important to them, you can actually cut down a lot of that tension that goes on in families. And dealing with that tension, Sarah, is honesty the best policy? Do I, you, th I do think you it is. To, yeah? yeah, I think it is. I think a lot of parents struggle with um, finding out what makes their child tick, because as a parent, you know, it's very confronting. You have produced these children, and they're there in front of you. You have to deal with them, and you have have to do your best and nobody gives us a manual do they I mean it's you're just there you're dealing with your kids so it, it's often um, negotiated between parents who approaches the child if the child is making the noise that they want to be heard and I think you know if, if you can't cut it as parents turn to a mentor ask an uncle or an aunt if you're finding the job too hard because in those teenage years often it is very difficult to get to the nub of what the problem or issue actually is so don't be scared to ask for help but I think you know we, we sometimes give kids a bad rap. We say that they want this and they need this and they're, they're always asking and they're always, you know, demanding. Often they're not. Sometimes they just want your time. Sometimes they just want you to listen. And as a parent, you have to really have those ears attached properly. So <laughs> honestly, the best policy. It is. Strike while the iron is cold. cold. What sort of language should we be using when we're discussing the issues that they're raising through those squabbles? I think when you say you sound really upset, this is important to me, we will work this out. Tells children you're not dismissing it, but you're not hovering and trying to sort everything out then because children will go into that blame stage or that this is unfair. But when they know that you're coming back to it, you're going to work through it. And also I think if families took the time, if parents took the time to teach their children how to resolve conflict, you know, just sort it out won't usually work. But when you can say to a child, when you want something, you need to say, please may I have, or or if you don't want them to touch your stuff, you need to say, please leave my stuff alone. I don't like it when you help yourself. Language is really important, but I also think it's really important for parents to get or to understand what makes their child tick. Find something that they have in common with their child. Find something that they can do together. And as a parent, sometimes it's not the thing you always want to mm. do. Find something that you can connect. 
Well, 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 no, and you're child. right, because I guess for parents, you know, they want to treat their kids equally and they want them all to feel special. And valued. But yeah. every child is different, mm. aren't they? So how just, do you make them feel special? Well, I think understanding that, I think understanding that you may have a mother and father and children who come from the same mother and father, but genetically it's just played out very differently. One is high in confidence, one needs a little more nurturing. So that's my point. Find out what makes each child tick and just tap into that if you can and as parents we've got to make that time we've got to listen we've got to make that time well I could talk for ages on the subject <laughs> fascinating but run out of time thank you so much ladies Pleasure. really appreciate you. you coming in